Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here, sat in the Mitzi, and um, it's been a little while since we've been to see Alan, uh, the welder stroke painter. So I'm just heading down now this afternoon to go and see how UNY49M is. Uh, had some photographs in the week that looked very, very positive. I don't think he's far off. Maybe a slight hitch, I understand, on some of the paintwork we'll need to see, but uh, we're getting pretty close to the car coming back now, and uh, I know it's taken a long, long time, but we've had weddings and big days holidays high days and all sorts of things getting in the way but uh anyway we're getting there and uh, heading down now to go see him so let's go and have a look and see what he's got up to happy days okay here we are down the dusty bowl and uh looking forward to seeing uny 49m after quite a few weeks actually and i know it's been a bit embarrassing as to why it's taken so blinking long but we haven't been in a huge rush we've had lockdowns and all sorts of stuff so uh Quite intrigued, but it'll uh, be good to see him. It's also his birthday today, actually, so I'm gonna have to wish him happy birthday. And I've got him a bit of cake too, so uh, let's go see the car. Nearly here. Find somewhere to park. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> actually, it's a bit of mine, because it was my 60th this, uh, this week, so I've brought a bit of cake down for Alan as well. What a good lad. Jump out. All right, so Alan's just um, seeing to another customer with his car and um, come around the corner and here we go. Here is UNY 49M in its full resplendent glory. Still a few bits and pieces to do, says Alan. And that is a fly or something on the door there, I think, or a um, spider even. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, very, very pleased. Uh, all the panels back on, doors have been put on, hinges sorted. It's obviously just temporarily held there for now. Um, the uh, tonneau back on and in colour and um, all these panels now looking really, really good, clean and tidy. Um, remember how bad that boot was and how that's now been refettled. That was a right mess if you remember, if you look back on the channel and see a few months ago the state of that. Um, the car is pretty much ready to come home. I think there's been a problem with the Raptor underneath, which uh, Alan says he wants to have another look at. But uh, I think you can agree with me looking at all these bits and pieces. Still needs a bit of a polish and flatting back and then polishing again to get rid of some of the slight kind of dings. But um, overall, I think you can see he's done a sterling job. And we will be getting her home very soon. So well chuffed. If you remember how bad this car was when we first got it home, I will put a picture or two up whilst I'm talking here on the subject of the car when we got it back. It was a right mess before we took it to bits. I'm glad we took it all to bits, but it's quite a bit of a rebuild job now. We'll have to start with the wiring system, I guess. That's on order. Complete new wiring kit. I've got a guy um, I'm going to get along to, to rewire it for us. Um, and me and Ari slowly but surely will start to put all the bits back onto the car and hopefully get it back onto the road in due course. We've got lots of suspension bits um, and spares we've been buying over the months and years it's taken to get to this point. We bought this car in 2017, so it's going back quite a while now. But, you know, um, we just methodically, well, Alan methodically has gone through it bit by bit and uh, I think you'll agree it actually almost looks like a brand new car now so we have to be very very responsible on how we build it making sure that we use proper good uh, replacement parts and new parts where needed such that we make a good uh, good job of it in um, in the Inca yellow that it is now ended up being um, was pimento when it first arrived as you would have seen from the photographs uh, but uh, that's the base from which we're going to build up. The T-bar is at home. We will be putting the T-bar on top here because obviously structurally that needs to be there. It was welded across the door there when Alan did the welding, if you remember. But uh, And this is on a base, so it's not as if it's hanging here. It's actually on a proper little trolley underneath with a flat base, so it's not going to move at all. But when we come to move it, we'll have to put in the T-bar to just secure across to the top of the window frame and the side pillars, B-pillars, to make sure we don't get too much flex and uh, and it's back home and uh, we start the rebuild with Ernest and of course what we'll do is film it as we're going through 
and make sure that you guys get to see what we're doing. As I say, we're not um, necessarily trained mechanics, but uh, we're going to give it a best shot and hopefully have something to be proud of um, in the next few months. I'm not going to rush it as before. We don't have to. Um, that may be a little bit frustrating for some, but I'd rather we went through it methodically and hopefully keep a proper record of what we're doing such that others may benefit from seeing our mistakes and what we've done. And also, you know, we're learning ideas all the time from you guys. So there you go, UNY49M, almost back in the stable. And of course, we will film the return of the stag when we have the car finally ready to go. As I say, Alan's still got to do a couple of things to it, but um, he's pretty happy with how it's turned out. A little bit of flatting back and another polish and uh, sorting out the Raptor issue underneath. Uh, and we'll be done. Happy days. All right, guys. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. A real whistle-stop tour around um, Alan's workshop to see UNY 49M coming back to some sense of normality. Uh, as I mentioned on the film, there's a little bit of an issue with the Raptor, um, kind of heavy-duty uh, kind of stone chip paint, for want of a better term, that you may remember we put on the underside way back months ago and elements of it are peeling off so Alan doesn't want to release the car until he's actually gone back over that and just uh, taken off and uh, made good with some decent uh, stone chip probably going to be in black actually uh, rather than yellow but I think that'll be quite good it'll give it uh, some relief uh, uh, as opposed to the uh, the yellow body colour so um, he's not going to be long about it a couple of days work I think he said so uh, we are looking at getting the car home very soon and obviously very excited about that as I mentioned on camera we will film that in due course uh, but uh, yeah exciting times uh, it's been a long old journey but finally we're getting UNY 49 hem uh, back home uh, for real uh, so very excited good okay hope you enjoyed that um, have a great week wherever you are guys don't forget to like share and subscribe as ever and uh, we have Saturday sockets on a Saturday it's an email that you can uh, join up for and uh, lots of off-camera shenanigans as well as uh, don't forget to download uh, well go onto our website rather leave your details and we'll send you an Ari the Stag badge of honour uh, for your car whatever car it is doesn't matter you can do that and we'll send it to you anywhere in the world so uh, free of charge too so that's not bad is it all good okay have a great week and uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon soon to come home UNY 49M cheers for now bye <laughs>